In today's ever-evolving world, drones are presenting new challenges for security and privacy. From unauthorized surveillance to safety threats, the need for reliable drone detection and tracking has never been more crucial. In a battle to secure our skies, traditional drone detection systems may fall short. Camera surveillance systems are limited by field of view and depend on optimal lighting. Radar systems can generate false alarms caused by interference, leading to disruptions and wasted resources. And RF detection systems may overlook emerging autonomous drone technologies, leaving airspace unprotected. With our model that detects and tracks drones solely through acoustic signatures, we seek to provide a dependable solution to these issues. But how did we get here? In alignment with their values of innovation and integrity, our sponsors Raytheon have been investing against emerging drone technologies by presenting us with this project. Our task was to develop a drone detection and tracking system solely through acoustic signatures. The system is intended for both commercial and military applications. It will be able to detect drones up to 50 meters away by using the unique acoustic signatures that various drones emit to identify the drone elevation, distance, and azimuth from the user. So the first thing we did was clearly define our requirements and standards used. Overviewing our most important requirements, we established that our system shall detect drones with up to 50 meters away. The system shall be portable and be able to operate at day, night, and in harsh weather conditions such as rain, humidity, and wind. It shall detect within 95% accuracy, determine elevation within 3 meters, and determine azimuth within 3 degrees. We then researched to see how this would even be possible. In order to build the drone detection portion of this project, we designed a convolutional neural network model to classify audio into a binary drone or no drone signal. The model itself was trained and validated using online and real-world datasets of drone and no drone recordings. The total dataset amounts to approximately 10,000 drone and 10,000 no drone 1 to 2 second recordings. This classification model works by inputting audio features, specifically MEL frequency septal coefficients or MFCCs from a recorded audio signal. MFCCs can be thought of as a color-coded image representing the features of an audio signal. Acoustic drone signals contain a unique set of these features. A major challenge we faced at this stage was understanding how to implement a machine learning model because no one on our team had done something like that before. Through lots of resources, we were able to put together code that trains our model on tens of thousands of drone sounds so that it's able to detect the presence of a drone. After getting an idea of how we were going to build our detection model, we began looking into how best to pick up on audio signals. After much research, we decided to go with the tetrahedral microphone array model. The tetrahedral model features three microphones equally spaced on the bottom plane, with one microphone on top. We wanted to use an array so that our entire project wasn't reliant on one microphone, that if damaged or randomly stopped working would cause our entire system to be completely useless. The use of a multi-microphone array also helps us hear sounds at greater ranges. The main advantage of this model is that it can accurately calculate two-dimensional values such as distance and azimuth, but with that fourth microphone on top, we're able to calculate three-dimensional values such as elevation. But before we could put together the entire microphone array, we wanted to see if our detection system could work with just one microphone. Our MVP1 was focused on verifying detection requirements above 95% using one microprocessor and one microphone. The detection software and machine learning model was originally developed on a computer, so the main challenge of MVP1 was to transfer our system to a Raspberry Pi, which has significantly less processing power than a computer. We converted our software into a light model allowing successful transfer of our software to a microprocessor. The testing was performed to see how well our model could detect drones. We found out that we were able to detect with 95% accuracy, thus completing verification of MVP1 and our detection model. Our MVP2 was focused on our system's tracking capabilities. We used multiple microphones and microprocessors to test the system's ability to to track elevation within three meters and track the azimuth of a drone within three degrees. Our tracking model is dependent on multiple microphones being able to triangulate the sound source based on the time delays between microphones as sound hits them. We were able to successfully detect with a one microphone model and MVP1, but integrating multiple microphones into our system posed a unique challenge. In order for the system to have functional tracking, microphone synchronization is key. Our system relies on multiple microprocessors, each connected to a microphone, to properly distribute processing requirements. This gives rise to OS jitter and unsynchronized audio recordings. The solution to this was to introduce a calibration phase when the system is activated. A calibration speaker is positioned equidistant from all the microphones, and an initial 3-second calibration recording is recorded from all the microphones. 
The delay from each pair of microphones is tracked and factored in when the tracking algorithm runs. Once the issues regarding calibration were resolved, we were able to use a three microphone model to track azimuth within the three degree specification of accuracy, and we found promising results for our elevation tracking. Upon completion of the calibration phase, the system then begins to actively record and save audio chunks from each microphone and subsequently feed these chunks into the classification model. Upon a positive drone detection, corresponding audio chunks from each slave are sent to the master for cross-correlation. Fast Fourier transform cross-correlation was opted over the time domain cross-correlation due to less latency. With the speed of sound known, a time delay between two microphones yields a pair of possible angles. With multiple angles known between four microphones, triangulation is done to track the origin of the drone signal. Now that we've verified detection and tracking, we need to integrate the system physically. The main design constraints for the physical assembly included portability, microphone separation, and holding the microphone steady. The physical microphone array's performance is integral to the project's performance. Physical quality and consistency is a big part of how we can keep our drone detection and tracking consistent. The array sits on an off-the-shelf tripod with three extending telescoping arms fixed to a central hub. A shaft extends from the top of the tripod holding the fourth elevated microphone. We opted to place the majority of our electronics either inside or on the shell of an off-the-shelf control box as pictured here. This ensures that the setup remains straightforward and quick, as well as ensuring that the components suffer minimal damage in transport or setup. As with most projects, the majority of challenges we face were directly related to our constraints. Telescoping arms addressed both the portability and microphone separation constraints, and tightly toleranced parts and hardware addressed concerns about stability. To combat concerns about microphone quality, we performed extensive testing to understand the microphone behavior as the sound source is moved and to design ideal parabolic dishes for our system. In an attempt to pick up better audio signals, we introduced filtering techniques. This implementation did lead to even more issues as the system began producing increased false positives, but this was fixed by retraining the model with filtering and selecting the best filtering range through trial and error. Lastly, we aimed to design a graphical user interface that balanced providing necessary information with being easy to understand. So how do we know our system works? We conducted a series of tests for each requirement, verified by test, uh, specific to each requirement to ensure that it meets the threshold for accuracy, elevation, or as you expect. For our final acceptance testing, we used the fully integrated system to verify our tracking and detection capabilities. We started by fully assembling our system in an environment similar to the operating conditions. We then activated a drone 50 meters away from the system to verify that our system could detect at the required range. Next, we positioned a drone at known azimuths and elevations and confirmed that our system could properly calculate its location. Lastly, we operate in various conditions to validate the system's ability to operate at day, night, and varying weather. We also assess the system's portability. Through this experience, we overcame many challenges and learned many lessons. At this time, we are pleased to report that we passed all requirements except for elevation accuracy, but we are confident that we can achieve this before design day.